2K. We're gonna install the epicenter back in the truck. But we're gonna get to installing this bad boy here in a little bit, but before we actually get started right there, two things are gonna happen in today's video. One, we are gonna make some fake base out the blow through with the 412s e-series subs you already know number two we're gonna blow something up this is my fake ass epicenter what do you mean by that man this thing puts in work this thing is a line driver as well too so we're gonna about to make some fake base or really bad things are gonna happen this epicenter has been in my truck before. I did take it out of my Silverado once I rewired all my amps. Let me show you my amps in case you forgot. Once upon a time, I had a lot of madness going on underneath here with my amp rack. Oh my God, bro. Oh, hell no. I deleted so much stuff and cleaned up the wires that it is still hanging in there pretty good after one year of rewiring it. If I remember right, I think last october november we actually rewired this truck it has been working flawlessly we had a couple hiccups along the way with the md5000.1 for some reason it would drop down to nine volts and it would just clip out and go into protect but guys when i tell you right now this thing bangs something seriously this thing bangs <laughs> I happen to find the sweet spot setting for the tear amps where barely blinks clip and this thing is just producing some crazy ass bass. Before, I just had to pretty much have the ant, you know, gain down a little bit just because for some reason it just kept clipping out, dropping to nine volts, and not jamming the way it's supposed to. Few inches later. But when I say this thing is moving some serious pressure with the bass. Still running my factory alternator, guys, but we do have the big three going on here. I basically got. Uh, power coming off the alternator to this front battery, a ground coming from the alternator to the front battery, then I got this front battery uh, going down to a ground, and then obviously power wires and grounds running to the back to the back batteries. Yes, everything is still getting ran by these four weak ass batteries. I can't lie, they are doing some serious work. I think I do need to build a new battery box because with time, this battery box has been in here almost for like two and a half years. So it is time to fix her up before bad things happen. All the fuses are swapped out, got new ones in there. Uh, but man, these batteries are holding very nice at like 14.7 volts. They're doing work. But man, let me tell you, this thing is banging seriously, but... I am Mexican. I do listen to Mexican music. I love a lot of 80s music and a little bit of other music as well, too, that sometimes just doesn't have that bass that I need. We got to go ahead and add the epicenter to create fake base guys I, that's what i call it fake base or rubber base but we need to go ahead and put it in there so we can get that extra little bit of you know mood set whenever we go jamming right around or whatever since i'm not using this prv crossover it is definitely going to come out and that spot right there we're going to replace it with the epicenter there's power and ground already there ready for the epicenter and I think the only thing I got to run is that RCA over here and then I got to run another one back there but that's nothing never took my knob out and there it is right there man it's just waiting for me to turn it we're gonna get to installing this bad boy here in a little bit before we actually get started right there the one thing I know everybody's been waiting for we are gonna give away the big boss 3000 watt amp the the pair of the DS18 mids and $50 from our last giveaway. If someone's gonna win the 3000 watt amp, someone's gonna win the pair of the DSNT speakers, and someone's gonna get $50, man. So I'm kinda trying to hurry up and get this out the way. The best executive decision I feel that I can make for the channel just to keep on going 
no more giveaways till we actually create a team but i'm not really worried about creating no team man we're out here getting it on our own we'll do stuff on our own and if we have to stay away from that type of stuff just to keep on rocking dropping videos so be it if not hey the world's not gonna end we can still drop some fire content for you guys to watch All right, so I think we're actually gonna leave this guy here because I just tried to pull it out and the wires are basically just cut for it to fit there. And we are eventually gonna put the stunt wall back into place. So we are gonna leave this guy here because we will be using it probably later on in the future. So with that being said, we're gonna have to basically find a way how to put the epicenter somewhere in that area. Uh, we'll just jump from power from this crossover to put it over there and then we'll just have a small route of RCAs to get it connected and I think we'll be ready to rock it. Okay, so I am gonna use a rather thicker speaker wire to um, power up the epicenter, but I'm gonna go ahead and join uh, these wires with some zip ties just because before I would use electrical tape, but man, that thing just makes such a mess. And I feel that with the zip ties, it's so much, so much more faster neater and i can get to wires in case something goes wrong so and zip ties are actually rather cheap so we're just going to go ahead and join them together just like that So I actually found a good little spot for the epicenter right here. Uh, if I really want to get technical with it, I can make a little bracket for it, but it's out the way of everything. So we'll probably just stuff it right here. All the wires will be away. Go ahead, disconnect this one. Got this over here to the input of the epicenter. And then I need to go get a smaller size foot RCA so I can run from the epicenter to the input of the sub amp. It's not the most ideal RCA, but hey, it's gonna work. This guy in. Get over how loud the bass is in this truck. I'm telling you, I got it to find its sweet spot. I actually know what the occurring current with like AC current of the output. If I need to adjust it again, I already know what number it is. So I can just set it to that number and this thing's gonna keep on pumping and doing what it's supposed to do. The best question that I got is where is the wire for the episode? Oh, man, it's a telephone wire plug. Man, I don't even know where I left it, but let me look for it real quick. 12 seconds later. And this thing was actually pretty nice tucked away. So I think we're pretty much ready. Let's go ahead and start the truck and see if it turns on. Uh, let me make a small little adjustment on it. Okay, I think we're ready. Let's see if it turned on. All right, it is on. And let's get it. Seats down. Oh my god, I gotta go over there. Man, this thing's gonna be ridiculous. Ugh. All right. For the record, it is 91 degrees outside, guys, but a boiling 91 degrees. You already know that hurricane's coming because it's so hot. That tree is about to eat it. Look at that one. I don't know why guys, but that Break My Stride by Matthew Weiler, man, that thing slowed down, sounds really good, but it was missing that little epicenter base in order for it to really get down. And I hope that, you know, the band pass, blow through, whatever you want to call it, man, I think it's down with it right now. Let me turn it up just a bit because I am in the neighborhood and I do not want the neighbors to get mad. We'll know it a little bit. Look, 
it does need a little bit of adjusting. Look, no stone oil yet, guys. Man, I fell off bad this year for the Florida Classics, but I'm gonna try to work some magic. We'll see what happens, though. That Oasis Wonderwall slowed down. Epicenter turned down all the way. That's just pure bass right here, no epicenter look. I've been wanting to install that epicenter for quite a while now. Like I said, I listen to a lot of Mexican music and a lot of music like that, that sometimes doesn't have no bass and I just need that extra little uh, kick to create that fake bass so we can jam. All the speakers and everything from the Silverado stunt wall, they're just sitting there. I may just hold on to some and I may throw some stuff away, but some of it is gonna go in the wall panel that I do wanna do. I want to, you know, cut this bracket off so it's just the bottom part of the seat and then maybe do a wall with like four tins across the top, uh, maybe some horns and tweeters, who knows, we'll see what happens, we'll get to there when we get there. Epicenter, it is in, it is working, it's doing its job, man, I love it. I'll probably sit down and adjust it a little bit probably during the weekend, but like I said, we do have a hurricane coming so we need to get prepared for that. If you guys are in the state of Florida, please take any necessary step that you need to do to stay safe um, i will probably try to drop a video of the hurricane we'll see what happens but like i said by the next time we drop a video we will already be at 15,000 subscribers and i'm gonna go sit down and eat and then we're gonna give away all the stuff package it up send it on its way send the 50 dollars and then we'll close that chapter out of, out, of, out of our life and continue these banging videos guys but but all that being said i hope you guys enjoyed today's epicenter fake base video hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.